The Proteas touched down on a chilly morning in Johannesburg to a rather chilly reception after a disappointing triangular series in the West Indies. The poor performances have led to the pressure mounting on national coach Russell Domingo ahead of the upcoming visit of New Zealand in August. I'm not a coach that's going to sit and, yeah, and blame players for, for lack of performances. That's what coaches got to do. You got to front up and take the brunt of it when the performances aren't there. So I don't feel let down by the players. I feel let down by performances, I suppose. The big talking point has been the workload on the players who produced below par performances throughout the series. And it is something that is an area of concern for Domingo. You can't give 100% to 10 different teams over 10 months. Something's got to give at some stage. Domingo's future hangs in the balance, as his tenure has not yielded any trophies, and with several months left on his contract, the 41-year-old maintains that quitting the job is not an option. Look, I've obviously got to sit down with, with my management team and sit down with the board members and the CEOs, the guys who make those decisions, and uh, plan a way forward, I suppose. I'm not a guy who wants to give up or quit, so I need to discuss what their particular thoughts are. Um, I've got a few days at home now to to just mull over a few things, see where things are going. The outlook for the Proteas is a rather gloomy one, with several areas of concern after a disappointing trip to the West Indies. They've slipped to fourth on the ODI rankings, their players appear tired and overworked, and a national coach, Russell Domingo, doesn't quite know what's wrong with the team. It means a lot of soul-searching will have to be done if South Africa is to once again prove that they are indeed a force to be reckoned with in international cricket. CS Duplessis, CCTV, Johannesburg.